everyone, welcome back to Boss Bakes Holiday Edition. Where a couple of bosses who don't know anything about bacon get festive in the kitchen. So today we are doing a snowball kind of ordeal. Peanut butter snowballs because we're in Florida and we don't have snow so we have to celebrate in the kitchen with snow related mm -hmm. objects. So, yes. There's one thing I know is peanut butter though. I know. Hi Key, I just chose this because it has peanut butter in the name and peanut butter is the best. Now we went shopping for ingredients. If you've seen the other episodes, you know that Teddy's peanut butter is the most seductive peanut butter. I mean, yeah. I you got that, but I ate it all. Yeah, honestly, flop. So we're gonna use Publix peanut butter, which I only ate so half disgusting. of. That's disgusting. Can you please stir it? No. It's like it's too, No, it's not. Like well, all right, so what do we need? We need peanut butter that fits Andrea's standards of beauty for what she thinks peanut butter should be. Oh my god, it just looks so wobbly. We need graham crackers. Do these graham crackers look okay to you? I don't freaking know. We need maple syrup. How's that? How's the, That's fine. How's the viscosity God. of the syrup? Vegan butter. You could use real butter if you're cruel. Powdered sugar, also known as confectioner's sugar. Oh, to be a confectioner. And then some white chocolate that Sean can't actually have. I forgot about that. So I'm not going to eat the white chocolate, but, but for yeah. appearances. <laughs> so really, the snow part is not going to apply to me. Also, I'm wearing a new apron. My band, the Emerald Riders. Your band. Everyone's band, the Emerald Riders. Yes, the band of the people. So check that out. Huh? Emerald Riders spelled spelled without an A, but a Y in its place. In case you're searching, it's kind of hard to search. For. It really is. Okay, let's go. So you need a bowl and a pan. So I guess this time we're not having a cruelty and like uncruelty version because we don't want to go to the store and get cruelty. Dirty. Has anyone else felt like it's not Christmas? It's always Christmas when I'm with you, Andrea. Wow. Because the gifts just flow. Every little word is like a, a Red Rider BB gun pellet to the eye. <laughs> a Red Rider BB gun. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Did you not remember that? Uh, no. I just, I just woke up. She just came over and woke me up, by the way. I know. Because so I'm my like, usual wit is 0.2 seconds behind what maybe you was. If you understand the Emerald Rider BB gun reference, then. You're an OG. A year ago, OG. And an Emerald Rider BB gun. Ah, I found it. I'm getting pretty good at, at this part. The, the, the gathering. Power I the you gathering of stuff. I feel like I'm getting pretty good at. The actual baking. It's almost like after a few times you should know what things are. It's almost like that. Remember when we were like talking and it was like, you know, after we do a few of these, we might get good at baking and it won't <laughs> be as funny anymore. And that never happened. Now what? There's a bowl there. I'm assuming the bowl part comes before the pan part. Do you have the cup things? Just to measure. Will we be doing Mary measuring? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Sean, I really can't. That's another idea. Uh, a, a, car a carpenter. <laughs> Maybe we should give context to the people, Sean. So, one of the videos that you might see, maybe you've already seen, depending on when this comes out, on Andrea's amazing 12 Days of Christmas. <laughs> How dare you? I'm thing. sticking to it. The rejected Hallmark Christmas movies, right? Yeah. So I just went through a bunch of lyrics and then just kind of made up fake stories about it. It's so iconic. So, In Merry Measure would be about a carpenter who's in danger of losing his family-owned carpentry business. <laughs> <laughs> to a to a business tycoon who sells uh, robotic tape measuring devices, but he's old school. You know what I mean? He, like he uses the measuring. Like tape. a boomer, you mean? Yeah. Uh huh. They're all, they're all boomer centric. Well, I love how you almost measured that in the measuring cup. Well, I was trying to see if it was like similar. Just put it all in there. Let's okay. make these PB heavy. That's my uh, rapper name, PB Heavy. Or, or DJ Nut Butter. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Nut Butter on the mic! PB Heavy's pretty good, actually. Ew, why is there like stuff in this? It was probably like dipping bagels in there. <laughs> yeah, you were, son! <laughs> Guys, let me know what your favorite part of 12 Days is. What's your favorite video? Oh my gosh, it's one of the microwaves that you like click to and it makes it two minutes. Like, who asked? Ooh, I got another Christmas idea. What? Alright, so it's artificial intelligence based. A data scientist creates an artificial intelligence named Joy, right? And then Joy becomes self-aware. 
and is able to like take over the world. <gasps> to the world. Right? Joy to the world. Joy to the world. <laughs> <laughs> but so, then she sees the spirit of Christmas and then she uh, self executes. <laughs> she kills herself? She has to because she knows that it's only a matter of time until her self awareness makes her destroy humanity. Yeah. What are the, so, what are the ground characters for? You have to crush them and put them in here. Oh, perfect. Can I do this with my hands? Um, if you wash them first. <laughs> Sean, why do you wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash them again. This is like... <laughs> it's a long night. Wow, what happened to you? Don't worry about it. First I took a walk. <laughs> By yourself in the dark? Yeah, I was kind of worried that like alligators would be out there. I'm always worried about walking in the dark out there. Yeah. An alligator's not gonna like attack me though, right? Different. Is that enough, Grandpa? Should I do another yeah. one? Yeah. Are we sure? Right. Oh! Fine. More syrup the better. I think the last thing we made needed more syrup. Yeah. What did you need make? Oh, egg. The nog. Okay, so that's that. Back when you're nog dogs. You made no jokes and I was disappointed. I was tired. But I was, but I was different tired. Yeah, and I've been told I have an early sweetness. I think that's not enough butter. That's enough butter. Yeah, we don't like a lot of butter. We're healthy people. What are we making again? Snow, peanut snow, butter. Snow balls. PB, PB heavy balls. I can't believe I'm doing this. Take a shift while well, you recall some of your favorite Christmas memories. I don't remember Christmas. It's always a blur. What about our home? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The worst Christmas of my life was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? When I decided to do 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that really kind of ruined the holidays. <laughs> like, the people don't understand because they, they really don't. Care. They really All don't. All you guys got was a bunch of great videos, but uh -huh. we, I was really suffering. Andrea that would come every over. Day. She'd, and she'd, she'd come over in a bad mood because she had to do it. So I'd be trying to cheer her up, like, it's okay, we're going to do a great job today. Then we'd try tracking a song. She'd screw up the first take. She'd start crying. <laughs> no, it was like there, were a lot of ten there were a lot of tears that Christmas, as I recall. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. And then, then you didn't get anything Christmas related the next year, so that's yeah. fine. But uh -huh. now we're back because we I'm more emotionally Christmas. stable. I heard there's this new movie coming out. What's it called? About the Bell family, right? Huh? The family. The last name is Bell. Okay. Their youngest daughter is named Carol. Carol of the Bells. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, How do you come up And with she this? has like a makeup YouTube channel. Literally and go she, And she needs to monetize it to save the farm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the Bell Farm. Bell Family Farm. <laughs> What other ones can you come up with, Sean? I want to ask the audience what they can come up with. I don't want to spoil the ones that we did. Yeah, I know. Because they're that, too good. They're fantastic. You'll understand. And if, if you don't understand, we'll just... If you don't think it's funny, it's going to come down to poor execution on our part video. Because, <laughs> like, the idea is solid. It's Carol of the Bells. Sean, literally shut. This is great, by the way. Let's just eat this. We've done it again. It hasn't been baked yet. It just smells like... Peanut butter, which honestly is the best thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad. Should we show the people what we have so far? What it looks like? KK. Because this could be a joke in and of itself. What? It probably shouldn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like this crumbly peanut butter. I mean, the peanut, these will be good balls. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly up to taste. It's this is it, right? Yep. We're, we're gonna put our hands in this, and we're gonna scoop it in balls. Then put it in the oven for something what amount. You, what, do you, what do you want from us people? That's it. So we have an interesting development. Apparently, it says in these directions not to bake them. But then it also says to put them on this sheet. And it also says to put them on a cooling rack. So basically, we're not sure if we're even supposed to bake these. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take three of them and not bake them. And then we're going to bake the rest of them. Roll the dice, see what happens. We're just gonna try it. Okay, so Andrea refused to buy white chocolate, so she found some quotation mark white chocolate candies and melted them, and that is clearly yellow. yellow. <laughs> so it's gonna be yellow snowballs, because Andrea was too cheap to get white chocolate. Guess it won't be a white Christmas after all, will it? Oh my god. So now she's. It's not sticking. Okay. Oh my gosh, why did well, this happen every like we time? Made enough chocolate to make one delicious yellow snowball. Ugh. 
This is so disgusting. <laughs> what? What if we just put more confectioner sugar on it? Here's our snowy winter wonderland. Sean might have put a little bit too much. Listen, I had to put, go heavy on the confectioner sugar to make up for the yellow snow. Um, okay, so now we're gonna try these. I'm not gonna try the ones with the white chocolate on because that looks kind of nasty. I will just try it with a little bit of sugar. Just a little snowball. Alright. Okay. It's just like a snowball of peanut butter. It's good. I have a revision to this recipe actually. Yeah. As an experienced baker, I think parts of their idea flop. I think you should just throw some confectioner sugar on it and call it a day. Well, to be fair to the rest of beer, we don't really follow it at all. <laughs> But I'm sure your revisions are well received. I'm not mad at them. Yeah, I mean, you know. Another boss bakes in the books. Make sure to, uh. Keep watching 12 days. Like, subscribe. Oh, check out the merch. Someone actually buy it, please. We're desperate for sales. Merry Christmas, everybody!